Hi everyone, this is Abraham. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can create a grid in Adobe Illustrator by exporting it from Adobe InDesign. And I believe the easiest way is to use our plugin called Grid Calculator Pro Edition. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is obviously is to start the plugin. Then you need to enter your document dimensions and you can either do that in basic grid system or custom grid system. After you've done that, you need to set a letting. Now here in uh, basic grid system, it's always going to be in points. And if you're working in custom grid system, it depends on the units that you have selected here. So I'm going to select 12.5 here. And the actual letting is 12.566 points. So once you've set a letting in either basic grid system or custom grid system, you need to hold down the Alt button. And as you can see, the X height transforms to horizontal guides and by clicking on that it also brings forth the letting uh, the baseline and then you can press ok um, if you're working with package design make sure that the document size or dimension is the same size as one of the sides of the package and then go to file export and if you're working in Adobe InDesign CS5 and later make sure to select Adobe PDF print now I'm just gonna save this and make sure that visible guides and grids is selected otherwise you're just gonna create a blank PDF so press export go to Adobe Illustrator and open that PDF after you've done that Press Command A or Control A to select all the content. Right click, select Make Guides, and then right click again and make sure that Lock Guides is selected. After that, make sure to go to View, Snap to Point, so that when you draw something, it snaps to the, the grid. I'm just gonna show you how it works here. So as you can see, we have the grid on its own layer, which is very handy if you're working with packages or you just want to have different grids in one document. And as you can see here, it actually snaps. And you can of course also do this if you're using a custom grid system. So I'm just going to do something really quick here. I guess like points here. Let's say that I have a specific format that I want to work with. I can just enter 200 times 1 times 1. And, uh, and if we have, if we want to create a um, square grid, I can just enter 200, uh, 2 points here, which is the same value here. And um, just press apply. Now, since I've in the preferences and presets have selected CGS show baseline grid, it automatically brings forth the uh, brings forth the leading. So if I hold down the Alt button, it's going to apply those horizontal guides. Now we can do the same thing here, go to export. So I'm going to do the same thing here. But in this case, let's say that I want to take this grid and I want to put it in the first document. So I need to deselect a lock guides. Select all, copy, go to the first document, and uh, I'm going to create a new layer for that. And you can just paste it here. And if you want, you can uh, see here. You can resize your grid. So that's just a quick video on how to export your grid from InDesign into Illustrator.